In the U.S., over 37 million people either have psoriasis or eczema. Our good friend and colleague, Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Patient Officer of Pfizer, is here to let you know what your skin may be telling you about your health. Well, you know, a lot of people often confuse psoriasis and eczema because both can cause skin to be dry, red, itchy, and inflamed. But they're caused by different factors. They require different treatment. So really getting the diagnosis right is key. So important. First up, psoriasis, an autoimmune disorder that affects the body as a result of an overactive immune system. With psoriasis, the immune system causes the body to make new skin cells in days rather than weeks. These extra cells build up and form red patches covered in thick silvery scales. And these patches often appear on the elbows, knees, and scalp but it doesn't only attack the skin. Your nails may become thick, pitted, or even ridged. You may also experience swollen and stiff joints with this. Yep, so next up, eczema. So atopic dermatitis is the most common type of eczema. Now, it generally appears on the skin where the body bends. So at the crook of the knee, on the inside bend of the elbow. And with psoriasis, there may be mild itching but with atopic dermatitis, the sensation of itching and the urge to scratch are typically much more intense. It's important to mention that neither of these conditions are contagious and that skin diseases can be a part of a larger problem. Some people with psoriasis are at a higher risk for many conditions, including cardiovascular disease, arthritis, obesity, and emotional problems. Dr. Frida, who is at risk for these particular skin conditions? So atopic dermatitis can affect anyone at any age, mm -hmm. but it's most common in babies and children and is usually diagnosed before the age of five. Psoriasis is generally diagnosed later in life. It too can affect people of any age, but is most common in people mid 40s to mid 60s. In the exact cause of psoriasis and eczema, it's unknown, but genetic and environmental factors certainly may play a role in both. To manage symptoms of atopic dermatitis, talk to your healthcare provider and try to identify and certainly avoid your triggers. Absolutely, and developing really good um, skin care habits is very important. So you wanna keep your skin moisturized with non-irritant products. Make sure when you're bathing that it's warm water, not hot water. Mm -hmm. Avoid uh, detergents that have uh, fragrances in them because that may exacerbate it. And then last but not least, we wanna make sure that you know the signs of infection and that you make sure to monitor for those. Really good point. And for psoriasis, quitting smoking, limiting stress, and keeping skin from drying out may help. And although there is no cure for psoriasis or eczema yet, talking to your doctor can help ensure you have the right diagnosis and the right treatment for your condition. And I wanna mention one other thing before we go. You know, skin conditions like this can cause people to become socially withdrawn, to develop low self-esteem mm -hmm. or depression, but it doesn't really have to be that way. Education and awareness are really beginning to take hold and to destigmatize skin diseases. Just for an example, the reality star Kim Kardashian West has recently come public with the fact that she has psoriasis, which is a condition that uh, she has in common with her mother, Kris Jenner. There is support available. You don't have to do this alone. And of course, if you want more information, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. We've got information and resources there. And of course, while you're there, you can sign up for our monthly newsletter. Dr. Frida, always a pleasure. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Oh, it's great to be here.